everyone, my name is Isaki. Today I thought I would speak about a topic that I saw someone else made a video on, but it's a few years old. I don't think they make videos anymore. But it's about wearing Lolita to school. Um, so I had gotten to Lolita when I was in my, when I was going to be going into my junior year of high school. I literally jumped right into it after I found out what the fashion was. I started doing a lot of research, taking a lot of photos. Um, I wasn't able to buy dresses right away, so I found different ways to do casual Lolita. And this is actually one of the shirts I wore back in high school. So I got into Lolita and I also got into Decra, so I'll talk about you know doing both styles. I had a really big confidence issue back in school. From sixth grade on every year I did something different, like I tried to do the whole traditional preppy thing of Hollister, Abercrombie, and Fitch, and all those brands that I cannot stand whatsoever, and it got to the point where I was really, really, really done trying to fit in because it just wasn't happening, and I wasn't happy. I wanted to be myself and do something that made me happy, and I got to the point where I found Lolita, I found Decra, I absolutely fell in love with it instantly. And I said, that's what I'm going to do. And I briefly touched on this before, but like I said, I've done every kind of style out there. I was made fun of for liking Hello Kitty, and now that's really popular and no one makes fun of you for liking Hello Kitty. I got a bunch of frilly shirts like this, and they got buttons down the side. I had a lot of different aristocrat shirts. I never wore skirts or anything like that before. And so it was very strange for me to try to move into getting things like that. I would wear like regular pants. I've got black slacks on with this right here. I've got a black ribbon in my hair, um, a little bow clip. I did a lot of Cadona and boy style Lolita because that's mainly what I had. So I did more aristocratic compared to complete gothic or sweet Lolita. I would have some shorter uh, skirts which kind of fit into Lolita style. I did a lot of off-brand items, so for example, this is an off-brand item. So I would wear whatever I could find from JCPenney had a lot of shirts like this, TJ Maxx had a lot of shirts like this. And I would match them with skirts, and my grandma did put on a couple, like, lace on some skirts, and that was always uh, really helpful. I was really, really, really into knee-high socks, so Claire's was good at finding different socks that would work with Lolita fashion and Decra fashion. With Decra, that was a little bit more hard because they don't have, here in America, really, really cute patterns like you find in the Japanese Decra styles. But I would do what I can. I would get a lot of accessories at actually the dollar store. For example, I would find a bunch of little cute hair clips or silly bracelets. Claire's is another really big place for that. So I got a lot of preparation done during the summer before my junior year started. And when it did, that's when I went full force. <laughs> I didn't slowly get into it, I literally just jumped right in and did full blown decor. I had 70 bracelets up my arms and 30 hair clips in my hair and a bunch of goofy little necklaces and a bunch of mismatched earrings, uh, mismatched socks, whatever I could find. I wore tights and then I wore three layer socks. Like I said, I'll try to find some pictures for you to see. The number one thing though that I had an issue was with the confidence. So the previous year I started mixing up a bunch of different styles, but I wasn't into J fashion yet. So I would book punk one day, kind of gothic in the next day, um, goofy indie style one, you know, another day or something. Uh, so people, my friends and other people at school were kind of getting aware that I was strange. I wore cat ears and tail with heelys, I carried a briefcase to school, um, not the ones that kind of sh shut closed, but you could carry it and it open like a folder. It was really cool and really big and I would spin around with it. And it was really fun. Other people picked up the habit and started carrying a briefcase to school too. That was really awesome. 
So as I progressed and I wore Lolita to school, um, we didn't have uniform, so I could wear whatever I want as long as it fit within the dress code. And of course, Decker and Lolita are both very uh, conservative. They aren't too short, they aren't low cut, they aren't spaghetti straps, anything like that. I did get negative feedback a little bit. Uh, most people looked at me and kind of be like, mm, what is that? Why are you wearing it? It came to the point after I've been doing it for so long and it was really embarrassing <laughs> to wear a skirt the first time. I wore like this punk red skirt and would wear mismatched tops and everything. So it was kind of like punk decora was one of my first things and I did punk Lolita. Uh, that was really easy for me to do because I had a bunch of garments already in that genre. When I would get to school, I'd have my friends help me, or even on the bus, I'd have my friends help me putting clips in my hair because I didn't like to get up in the morning. I'd be getting finished and putting all my goofy accessories on the bus or at school, and my friends got a kick out of it. They were all part of, you know, the gamer and anime group. And we were the outcasts. A lot of teachers did look at us a little strange, but I had a few teachers that were really, really cool. And one of my English teachers in my senior year said, I really look forward to, you know, you coming in here and having something different every day because it's such, your personality really comes out and it's so unique, it's so different. Um, the older generation kind of gets the kick out of it. It's not a bad, rebellious thing. You know, it's cute and it's fun, it's positive. When I would go out on the streets, old people would just get such a kick out of the decor and be like, oh, that's really fun, that's really bright, I like that. I'll make another video about going out in public and getting Lolita reactions, because that's a whole other thing. People don't tend to say things about decor, they say things about Lolita. I'm not really under... I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe because of people like Cindy Lauper or something, you know, they have that goofy, punky look and it's kind of like Decra. It is a lot easier when you start to get into things if you have someone that is also interested. I didn't. I was the only one that dressed Alita. I was the only one that dressed Decra. All throughout middle school, I was teased. I was teased hugely for my name, for liking Hello Kitty, for liking anime, for being into Japanese culture. Um, my love for Japanese culture came before my love for anime and fashion. Middle school for me was a really, really dark time. And I went through a really dark and like depressed phase. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have middle school was the absolute worst, which is why I was trying so hard to fit in and that wasn't happening. Um, I even wore giant baggy pants and I was really, really tomboy. Uh, like I had Jinko jeans and flame head pants, uh, Nike t-shirts, no makeup, the whole, you know, just kind of gangster phase, I guess you could say. Not so much. I didn't really have the attitude to match it. And I don't have any pictures or else I would love to show you. To be honest, I love baggy pants still. I love the giant jeans and I would totally wear them. It is okay to like different styles. You can't just, you don't have to exclusively be Lolita or exclusively be Decora. I know lovely Laura on here, she recently did a Decora thing and she's been getting into that. And that's really cool to see other people getting into other branches of fashion. Um, like Fairy K kind of combines the two. So I think the biggest issue is when you find something that you love and you want to have the confidence enough to do that. Um, because of all of the bullying and all the crap that I had been through in middle school, I was used to it, sad to say. And bullying still exists. We all know that. We can see it here on YouTube. Uh, people don't say I'm goth enough. People might say that I'm not Lolita enough because I wear a bunch of off-brand things. Or my grandma makes me really cute skirts and I will show you one of those coordinates uh, when I get the rest of the pieces that I want to go with it. You honestly really have to learn not to care what other people say or what other people think. One of the greatest moments that happened to me was in senior year and it was in my French class and it was a first year French class so there was a lot of freshmen there and one girl asked me why do you dress like that? 
and I was so used to, you know, giving the reason why. It's a Japanese fashion. I just really like it. You know, it, you don't see people like that. As you get older, your peers start to mature, if only a little bit. They won't outwardly poke at you or call you names or throw things at you or drag you across the classroom. And these are all things that had happened to me. So I had so much crap that I had went through. You'd have to get past being angry or sad and sitting and crying all the frickin' time and just say, you know what, this is who I am, accept it and screw you if you can't. So that girl who said it to me, I wasn't angry because I was already used to it and she wasn't being mean, she just honestly asked. And she was one of those girls that kind of wear the name brands, had a Jansport backpack and blah 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 blah. And before I could open my mouth, another girl who was really cool and she actually gave me some random hair clips that she had in her backpack one day. She's like, here, here, here's some little clips, you know, use these. And she said, you know what, she can dress however she wants. I think she's really cool. And a couple other people in the class, and they were all freshmen, so they were just straight out of middle school. They weren't there to mock me. They actually admired me because I had the balls enough to stand up and do what I wanted to do and to be myself. And once you have gained that confidence to go out and not be ashamed and not be afraid of who you want to be, people will respect that. People will admire that. Not everyone. Because there are a lot of still immature people who cannot accept differences. But it was really impressed and it just it blew me away because I never had that happen. I always had to defend myself, I always had to stand up for myself. And so when she did that, I was like, wow. And I started to notice some of the people that were at the same age group as me that had been there through middle school and were just sitting there and watching me. And sometimes they didn't say anything. But when teachers start saying, I, I love what you do, and when other people start looking up to you, and asking you things like I started getting on the internet I got on like Gaia online and people started asking how do you get into this or what can I do or I think that's really cool it really makes me happy so for those of you that are going through a lot of things it does get better it gets easier and you will learn to have that confidence um, I never thought I was, you know, pretty enough. I never had guys like me. I never went through a bunch of boyfriends in high school or middle school or any of that crap. Uh, I never, you know, really dated anyone until I was out of school. Just be who you are. Enjoy what you do. If you like Lolita, give it a go. Start researching about it. If you like Decra fashion, give it a go too. It's okay to be different. It's really fun. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or comment below. Follow me on one of my other social medias. I would be more than happy to talk to you. Um, I've got Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook, and they'll all be linked below. I'll try to put annotations as well here. Wearing Lolita and Decor fashion to high school is really awesome, and I'm glad there are still others that do it and that want to do it. Have a lovely day. May the force be with you, and I really hope this helped you out. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I try to do a video at least once a week, uh, usually on Friday or Saturday I'll upload it. 